Please kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were, before even time began. You are Son, and with the Father, and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine Word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine Word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 
A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Friday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Pablito Tagora, SVD. Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary. Our celebration will now begin. We all rise. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with peace your spirit. spirit. Gathered together as God's greater family with confidence. Let us ask the Father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you gathered the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction, so that I saw how many they were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you cover you with skin, and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, 
prophesy to the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and say to the spirit, Thus says the Lord God, From the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into these slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast arm. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Let the redeem of the Lord say, Those whom He has redeemed from the hand of the foe, and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the way to an inhabited city, they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits, He rescued them, and He led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His mercy and His wondrous deeds to the children of men, because He satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, His love is everlasting. We all rise as we honor the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. That is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Noong kapanahonan ng ating uh, Panginoon Kristo, 
ang kanyang mga katunggali ay ang mga eskriba at pariseyo. The scribes and the Pharisees were always looking for reasons to do him in. They persecuted him and actually they were instrumental in crucifying Jesus on the cross. They did not accept his teachings and much more, they did not accept that he was in fact the Son of God. And so in today's Gospel, a lawyer, an expert in the law, tried to test Jesus, a rabbi. A rabbi in the time of Jesus is someone who claims to know the revealed teaching, the guidance and instructions in the Torah, the Old Testament. The Torah consists of five books, the Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. A rabbi is someone who knows by heart, like the palm of his hand, these five books of the Old Testament. And so he wanted to test Jesus and ask him, which is the center, the essential, the most important of all the laws in these five books. A rabbi also belongs to a religious group called the Pharisees, and the Pharisees popularized these teachings, Old Testament teachings, because they were experts in the law out of the Ten Commandments, they expanded them into so many minor laws. And so people or their followers were so hard up memorizing and much more fulfilling all the demands of these so many laws. And so Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are heavily laden with so many laws, and I will give you rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. And so when this rabbi asked Jesus which one is the most important, Jesus quoted from Deuteronomy 6.5, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And secondly, love your neighbor as yourself. The scribes and the Pharisees, more often than not, put so much importance on the love of God. They thought that love of neighbor was inferior. And so Jesus wanted to put these two commandments together on equal footing. Because from the point of view of Jesus, the genuine, concrete manifestation of your love for God is if you also genuinely, sincerely love your neighbor. It was a new development for the scribes and the Pharisees. And for Jesus, love is not only an idea, but it involves willing and doing. It is a commitment, a covenant fidelity. And so the Saint Luke in his uh, gospel also talk about this encounter of uh, Jesus and the lawyer, but in the version of Saint Luke, the lawyer wanted to justify himself and he said, and who is my neighbor? And so in that context, Jesus told him the parable of the good Samaritan. Who, as 
a victim fell in in the hands of robbers while he was going from Jericho to Jerusalem to Jer from Jerusalem to Jericho and a priest saw the victim but went on the other side a Levite saw the victim and yet did not leave a finger to help this wounded victim it was only a Samaritan a pagan despised by the Jewish people who had the heart and like Jesus he was moved with pity and compassion and he took care of the wounded victim Jesus called him the Good Samaritan and he instructed the lawyer go and do the same to be compassionate as our Heavenly Father is compassionate and so what does compassion mean from the point of view of Jesus it mean it means many things you can see that in Luke 6 27 to 36 love your enemies do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you give to the one who asks and if anyone has taken something from you do not demand it back do to others as you would have others do to you do not judge and you will not be judged do not condemn and you will not be condemned forgive and you will be forgiven give and it will be given back to you in full measure then Jesus says your reward will be great you will be called sons and daughters of the Most High and he said be merciful just as your father is merciful just as that good Samaritan was compassionate and merciful to the wounded victim and so for Jesus love is not only an idea a fussy feeling but it is an action it is a commitment in the last days of Steve Jobs the billionaire he was dead at 56 he was the chief operating officer of Apple he had this to say while suffering on his deathbed I have reached the pinnacle of success in business in other people's eyes my life is a success however aside from work I've had little joy at the end of the day wealth is just a fact I have gotten used to right now lying on my hospital bed reminiscing all my life I realized that all the recognition and wealth I took so much pride has faded and become meaningless in the face of imminent death material things lost can be found again but there is one thing that can never be found when it is lost life whatever stage of life we are currently at in time will face the day the curtain closes and he continued love your family spouse children and friends treat them right cherish them your true inner happiness does not come from material things of this world when you have relatives family friends brothers sisters these are the real happiness love them cherish them today in our gospel Jesus asks us to be compassionate as our Heavenly Father is compassionate please all rise let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart and with all our soul mind and strength let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect 
and reverence ourselves as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our homes may be places of God's presence where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal physically, emotionally, psychologically, financially, and spiritually. May we not give in to fear of, or panic. May we be agents of love and service to those in need during this pandemic. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that Christ may bring to his eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord God, you reveal your will to us through your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, give us the grace to live out these commandments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord, the way God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we acclaim your glory.
unspeakable holiness, make holy these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Onestua Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and all your people gathered here. Remember brothers and sisters, relatives and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints, especially Arnold Johnson, Joseph Renadimets, Blessed Helena Nocefa, Pedro Calungsod, and Lorenzo Ruiz, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God, Abba, Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, on earth as, it as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and that by your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer it as a sign of peace. peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord not, I am worthy not worthy that should you should enter under my, my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. of all people. Saint Arnold Johnson. Pray for us. Saint Joseph Fernandez. Pray for us. Saint John Utes. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>